Hello, SOLIDWORKS surfacing power users. This is Alim Vargato from Trimax Solutions. And in this video, I will try to answer one of the most interesting questions that I have ever been asked in a surface modeling class, which is how do you segment an existing edge? What I want to do is to create a blend between this edge and this area of this edge. Just to show you what, uh, what I mean by that, Think about this bicycle frame, right? So I will try to create this face with a loft between this edge and something that currently doesn't exist on the other part. Allow me to switch to this file. Uh, this edge has already been segmented in four pieces. You can see one, two, three, four. So that worked. But the problem is this one is one piece. What can I do? Well, what if I create a temporary face just to turn this open edge into a sequence of closed and open edges? And a quick way to do that is simply creating a 3D sketch and drawing a line. So let's say my edge is going to start from here and it's going to end up somewhere there, right? So this is just to define the starting and end position of that edge. And now you can apply relations and things like that. Um, let's go also and convert the, sh uh, the face to a spline, do a bit of trimming. So I'm going to trim this area out and I'm going to ask SOLIDWORKS to create um, maybe a fill surface. Let me get out of the sketch, start the fill surface command just to get something there. Okay. As long as I can meet these two faces, hopefully SOLIDWORKS is going to allow me to do that. That's all I need. So notice now I have, this is an edge. This is a completely different edge. What's next? Well, simply deleting that new face. So I'm deleting this face without patching. And the result, this is a brand new edge. This is a completely different edge. So if I want to do something like boundary surface or loft surface. I can select this edge now. I can select this edge. Let's apply some nice curvature to face conditions for, uh, for both. Maybe adjust it a little bit. And the job is done. So this is one easy way to segment one of the existing edges. And you don't need to use a fill surface. You can use any other tool that will create an, a new face that can be attached to the existing body and then delete it, the new edge got created. Thank you.